Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? All good? Nice to hear that. The weather is getting better today. Are you enjoying at home, guys? Ready for the new lesson? Prepare your CW or the other copybook. And today we're going to do our spelling lesson. Let's write. Spelling words for which week? Previous one was week one. So now week two. Please write between the lines. Last week all words were ending with full. F U L. This week all words we ha will have in the end. L and Y. Again, on page 108, if you open textbook on page 108, you can see that this owl is giving us some rules and we're doing now the number two. Words ending in LY tell you how something is done. They're called adverbs. And then they're giving you small exercise here to turn the words into adverbs by adding LY. You will do this with your other teacher but let's just talk about it. The word glad, if we add L-Y in the end, what are we going to get? Gladly, terrible, terribly, hungry, hungrily. Here we will have the same rule. Remember if the word is ending with Y, like in the word beauty, we were moving the Y and turning it into I before we were adding full. For the L-Y is the same. If the word ends with Y, we'll move it, make it an I, and then add L-Y. But if the word is ending with L-E, like in a word, gently, sorry, gentle, we will move this E from the end, and then we're going to add L-Y. I will show you this slowly. I'm just telling what the owl is saying here on page 108, okay? Let's start. Number one. Just a second, please. <clears throat> First word is glad. I'm glad that um, I came to school today. But now, if I add here L-Y, now gladly will be describing some action I'm doing. I'm writing gladly. I'm happy that I'm doing it. So I cannot say, I gladly. No. I am doing something, anything. You can choose the verb you like. I'm doing something gladly. I am jumping gladly. I'm singing gladly. Anything, but you need a verb because the adverbs are describing verbs. So these words today that are ending in L-Y, we need a verb that they describe. Okay? We did this before. I guess you will understand. Fine. Number two. Let me check. Mm -hmm. eh, here is the problem. Not the problem, the rule. Terrible. This is what I was telling you that the owl says on page 108. Now look here. This word is ending with L-E. So I cannot just add L-Y to it. Okay? I will have to move it and then to add L-Y. Fine? Terribly. So I will move it. Wait. Like this. And then only adding, we have the L here. Adding Y. Okay. Number three. Okay, I'm back. Before I continue, I really want to show you this because I'm not sure if all of you have the book at home. If you don't, it's going to be much easier if I show you here and you have the picture in front of you. Here too. And the book. Wait a second. Okay, so we need page 108. This one. <coughs> 
have this exercise that you will do with other teacher, but I just want to show it to you. Look, words that have full in the, at the end mean full of something. This is what we did last week. So adding the letters full to the following words, we will have careful, joyful, and beautiful, right? So this week we're doing all the words ending with L-Y. Let me open the pen. With L-Y. And they tell us how something is done, and they're called adverbs. Again, the other teacher will revise this with you. Turn these words into adverbs by adding L-Y. So we will have the word gladly, and terribly, and hungrily. Remember these rules. This is what I'm telling you, and I want you to see. This part. Okay, I'll make it bigger. Remember these rules when adding full and L-Y. When a word ends in Y, change the Y to an I before adding full or L-Y, like plentiful and easily. And then, now, this part. Look, this one. When adding L-Y, if a word ends with L-E, like in the word gentle, see, there is L-E here. Drop the E, so we'll cross the E, and then we add only Y, so the word becomes gently. See, they just canceled one E. It was like this, gentle, so they moved this E, and they didn't add another L, they added only Y, okay? This is the rule that I wanted to show you, but I'm sure the other teacher will explain this as well. Fine, now we can continue. Next one. Ready? Slowly. S low. And then slowly. I was driving a car slowly. And number two, I was feeling terribly. So we need to describe an action. We need to describe a verb. Think of a sentence of your own for each of these words, please. Next one, happily. This is the word happy, right? If the word ends with Y, what do we do? We move it and then we write I and now we can add L-Y, right? Happily. I was playing happily. What about you? What were you doing happily? The word simple. Simple. What did the owl say? If the word ends with L-E, we move this E, and then L is staying, so we are not going to add another one, and adding Y. Same like we had here for the word terrible. Terrible turned into terribly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't delete. So we move the E and then we just added Y because we already have L. So let's use simply in a sentence. I was writing simply. Good. Next one, the word usual. Usual. What do we do? We just add L-Y. I go to school usually in the morning. Not in the afternoon. The next one. Kind. She's kind. But she's talking kindly. See how it's changing? It's changing from telling us something about, in my sentence, a girl, she is kind, to explaining an action that she's doing. She's talking kindly. Fine. Red. Now red. Calm. What do we do? Adding L-Y. She was speaking calmly. 
and I understood the lesson. All right, next word. Correct. 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 And then, hey, she was writing correctly, or he was talking correctly, or he was doing the exam correctly. Think of your sentence, please. I'm so sorry that I can't hear all of your lovely ideas. And the last one. Quick. Quick, and then quickly. Miss Emmy finished the lesson quickly because she had to go home. Maybe. Hee <laughs> hee. What now? Homework. Write each word three or four or five times. And then write five sentences using them. Five, please. Five different sentences. If you want to use more words, no problem. But we need five sentences, please. There is a full stop here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's here. Uh -huh, here. Good. So this is the spelling. Now let's move. Okay. You know the homework, right? It's always the same. Next one will be vocabulary words. Vocabulary words. I showed you the words last week. But we didn't explain them. I'll just write them here and then I'll open you the same picture again where you have the explanation. So I will not explain them now. I'm just going to write them and we will read them. Abandoning. Remember that one? Number two. Blamed. And the last one, grasped. Guys, if there is anything you don't understand, you can check the dictionary, the real book if you have at home, or you can check online. And still, if you don't understand something, please make some mark next to it, any word or anything you don't understand, and I'll be happy to explain you again when we come back, okay? So here are the words, abandoning, blamed, and grasped. And these three words, I will open again the picture to show you their meanings. And that's it. After this, tomorrow we will read the new text. I mean, we will continue reading the other text, but the other three pages. Okie dokie. Bye-bye.